Hey guys, I'm Jordan Morrison and today we will be talking about the top three shortcuts I use in iMovie that will level up your workflow. So let's jump right into it and get started. Number one is split clip. This is super useful. I find it really handy because it takes forever to cut your videos if you don't use that. So let's check it out. So the shortcut I use, which they give you right here, is if you right click on the video, you can see all the shortcuts here. The shortcut for split clip is command B. So if you go ahead and take a look at this, you can stop anywhere you want to. Let's say it's right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit command B and then go to the end here, click command B again. And that will be your split clip function. So it works out really handy and it speeds up my workflow very quickly. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip this out and only keep the parts that I want to. So I'll go here, I'll make all my cuts. And there we go, we already have our video. So we can just go ahead and get rid of all the fluff that's out of there. And we have already selected our clips. Now number two is play from the beginning. So let's say if we have our clip and we have it all the way edited, we wanna just go ahead and play that and we'll do one final watch through and then we'll export our video. So to do this, you can go ahead and click at the very beginning, do the whole slow process, click the spacebar, you know how it goes. But there is an easier way to do that. So let's say if you're in the middle here, let's say you're over here, you can actually hit the slash bar that's right below the delete button. And so for this one, all you have to do is click that button and it'll automatically start your clip. And there you go. Okay, so it's as easy as that. And then number three is detach audio. So let's say if you have uh, audio and you wanted to record this with a podcast mic instead of your camera microphone. All you have to do for that is you go ahead and click on the clip here and then you select Alt, Command, and then B. And then as you can see here, it pretty much got rid of the audio there and it separated it. So now I have my audio down here and the clip is by itself. So if I were to go ahead and delete that, as you can see here, you have only the video playing. There you go. And there you have it. Those are my three top tips for editing an iMovie that will really ramp up your workflow. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.